Blue Royce Pokemon Diamond and Pearl Walkthrough Part 62. Alright, I got all my Pokemon healed up completely, and I'm ready to enter the Spear Pillar. So let's head on inside. Or outside, I guess. Because, yeah, the Spear Pillar is like the very top of Mount Coronet, and it's just like this crazy place. And right away, you'll run into a couple of Galactic Grunts, and they're going to battle you in a double battle. Now, there's nothing different about this battle compared to any of the other Galactic Grunts you fought. They just happen to be sitting on top of the Spear Pillar, so nothing to worry about here. But they're sort of like guarding the Spear Pillar because they don't want you to get in. Because, I don't know, apparently, apparently, like, the ten Galactic Grunts we fought in the cave weren't enough. They just need two more guys staying here to block us away because it's like, it's like, oh yeah, they, they've only beaten us every single time we've ever set up a headquarters anywhere, but maybe these two guys will just completely, like, block them out of the way and not let them in. Yeah, I don't think so, buddy. I don't think so. So let's take out this dust dox with an area lace. And it... Oh, you gotta be kidding me. I, is that, that's not even enough to even see the little red line. It's like, ah, oh, so annoying. Oh, and the Stunky lives too, so this battle's gonna drag on. Oh well. Slash didn't do squat. Oh my gosh, it's gonna whirl with me. Okay, let's hope something good comes in, and it's Bibberal, my HM slave. So that's not good. Um, you know what, I might as well have some fun with this. I'm just gonna try cutting it or something. Let's see here. <laughs> I guess Bibberal could use some experience, so why not? I mean, no reason not to. <laughs> uh, so this is kind of funny. Alright, just finish that thing off with strength. Because I might need my flamethrowers later. No use in wasting those. And let's see if this thing doesn't knock me out before I can knock it out. Because the barrel. Oh, that would be hilarious. Oh my gosh, he's going to kill himself. Oh, it's a kamikaze stunky. Oh no. Kamikaze! Oh, wow. Wow. Didn't even get a chance to show him my stuff, you know? I was going to headbutt him, actually. <laughs> oh, that's funny. All right, Krogunk. <laughs> I don't think Bibberell is going to be able to handle that very well. I mean, not that Krogunk's some type of big powerhouse, but... I mean, Bibberell's just awful, level 21. Well, I shouldn't say it's awful. It's actually a pretty decent Pokemon, but... Not the one I'm using. Not the one I'm using at all. So I better switch it out. It was rather funny, though. I will admit. <laughs> Kamikaze Stunky. Oh my gosh, that never gets old. Never gets old. Alright, get another Intimidate. It's actually a pretty good strategy. Just switch in and out with Avian and keep lowering their attack. Pretty much shuts them down. I'm gonna throw flames with that little kitty cat. Glamio. And it goes down. Alright, now let's take care of this little frog. Okay, let's see. Oh, that Bibrel's still gaining experience. That's right. Okay, he's gonna nasty plot up. Not a big deal. Because I doubt he's gonna get a hit off before he gets killed anyways. Um, let's see. Oh yeah, that's right. I, oh, whatever. I, I'm confusing myself here. I forgot that I didn't get to attack that turn. But we'll just take it out this time. Not a big deal. Not a big deal at all. So, there we go. Down goes the Crow Gunk, and yeah, that was really easy. So, yeah, nice try with your little, you know, blocking schemes here, trying to, you know, uh, <laughs> I don't know what. You're trying to, like, stop us from getting into the Spear Pillar. Like, oh no, you've beaten every other Galactic Grunt on the face of Sinnoh, but we will stop you? Yeah, I don't think so. All right, now, before you move any more forward, be sure to heal up your Pokemon. You might even have to use stuff like Ethers and Elixirs to restore your PP because, yeah, if you can see up there, you got two Galactic Commanders that we'll have to take on. Now, um, I don't know why I did that, but let's see. I'm just going to make sure everything's healed up completely here. And this might actually be a time to, or a good time to whip out some rare candies and those items like proteins and stuff because you're going to want as much of an edge as you can get. Because look, we got the whole gang. Oh man, the boss is here too. Everyone, this is like 
the face of Team Galactic, the, like, the trio. And I'm just going to be quiet here because this is a pretty cool scene. Oh snap, it's Palkia. Yep, that's right, and there it goes. I don't know what it's doing, but it's shooting out some like crazy rays or something. <laughs> um, Alright, so Cyrus is talking about Palkia, and look at this, this is pretty cool. You can see these little like colorful rays it's shooting out, flying all over Sinnoh. There it is in the Valley Windworks, and here it is in Heart Home City, so it's like all over Sinnoh. It's really cool. So, in order to get to Palkia, it looks like we're going to have to get through Team Galactic. 